Hello friends, I am the Indian walking monk and I am here in Kudan. Kudan, this is the place and uh, and it's and um, this yes this you can see the lord buddha is ordaining this woman uh, queen prajapati uh, i think yeah here the queen prajapati to enter into the sangha after repeated requests the buddha permitted the sakyan woman and queen no including uh, sakyan woman and including queen prajapati here they are ordaining you see the ladies here or being ordaining that's that's me uh, and uh, <clears throat> also he uh, it's it's uh, it's told that uh, buddha ordained his son rahula here you see rahula's ordination here and uh, uh, sorry here we we didn't see the topic here this is the females in the sangha and here so the buddha buddha asked venerable sariputta to to ordain his son Rahula of eight years as a child, uh, as the child repeatedly asked for his fa the father's inheritance from the Buddha. So uh, after the, the, the his son, uh, and this is the one located, uh, and this is the stupa stupa one of Kudan in in Nepal. We are in Nepal, and I am traveling in Nepal. And uh, <clears throat> this is the one, this is the placard, uh, this is the one located in the, in the southeast corner and also called the Rahula Stupa. Hmm? Rahula Stupa is believed to have, um, to have uh, built, been, uh, been built to commemorate the event uh, uh, and spot where Rahula, the Buddha's son was accepted in the into the monastic order as a novice shramanera samanera the stupa also bears the octagonal um, an octagonal shiva temple on the top built later by the hindus so so that means the the, the hindus try always um, i think the, it was occupied later by the hindus so then the Supa Supa 2, which we will see inside, which we will see inside. Uh, from here you can see, there's the one we will see now. And uh, <coughs> this is the Supa 2, it will be, it's like this, that's what we will see first, I think. It's believed to have been built during the Sakya period um, to commemorate the Sakyamuni Buddha and King Sudodana's first meeting after enlightenment. Lord, uh, Lord Sakyamuni Buddha's uh, discourse on the five, on the five sutras of the Majjhima Nikaya and uh, conversion of uh, Sakyas into uh, into Buddhist. Buddhist. The stupa was reno renovated and restored during the Mauryan, uh, Sunga, and Kushana and the Gupta period. This is the one and uh, <coughs> we are in the actually Kudan, we are in the Kapilavastu, district of Kapilavastu and uh, um, this you can see this is, this, is, this is all the roads these are the roads here, oh, this is the, the road, modern road here and uh, just imagine this woman is walking, just imagine the prince uh, Prince Siddhartha, just um, I think uh, um, that's not here, but uh, we, we will go to the um, remains of the uh, of the palace um, of the palace. Uh, it it is told that there is there are some remains of the palace, and uh, probably uh, we can just imagine that um, yeah, we are in couple hours though. Uh, Prince Siddhartha might have might have come around this place. Uh, and um, yeah, he might have seen the uh, the sick person, the the four four things, right? The the sick person, the old person, uh, the dead person, and then and then uh, and then uh, uh, a, a, a saint meditating calmly. Eh? And then he he changed to um, he he became eh? he couldn't stay thereafter in the. And this is the stupa tree in Kudan. 
Kudan, the Kapilavastu district. Okay, so this is located in the northwestern part of the garden, uh, garden which is behind it, which is actually behind it. The garden, the stupa is believed to have been built during the Sakya period to commemorate the to commemorate the um, uh, incidences where the Queen Prajapati Gautami um, offered uh, the Sakyamuni Buddha uh, the um, the uh, vastra that's uh, that's the uh, uh, the robe and the robe and uh, Yasodhara invited the Buddha uh, uh, and his Sangha for a meal at um, Kapilavastu to palace. Yasodhara, as you know, is the wife, of, former wife of uh, the uh, not the Buddha but the but the prince, the prince uh, Siddhartha. Hmm? And the archaeological sites in Kudan looks like this looks like this archaeological sites of Kudan at Kudan and this is the one major archaeological site in Kudan is uh, as you can see one two three four five and then and then a uh, six a big one all right so major uh, uh, so as you can see uh, let me hold yeah, so the mound believed as Rahula Stupa. Rahula Stupa. The mound believed as Rahula Stupa. That's one. Two is a small mound. Two, two is a, one is a, this is the Rahula Stupa, small mound. Three is uh, Stupa two. Hmm? Stupa two and two. And then Stupa two and. Four is the ancient wall. Five is the super three. Four is the ancient wall, and then five is the super three, and then uh, six the lotus tank, believed to be the uh, Hasti Grata. I don't know what it is. This is the pond. So, and uh, this is the super three in Kudan. Uh, in Kudan, the Kapilavastu district. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Uh, toilet was sort of in eh? oh, okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's take uh, this is Kudan and um, this is the one the octagonal temple on the summit of the mound is about uh, oh, octagonal temple is uh, very late later one later addition to to the to, to the one and uh, kudan is actually the meaning is to jump to jump eh? it's a verb it's a verb uh, referring to the local legend of a giant who could jump from one mound to the next the site was first identified oh cha pc mukherjee all right, so this we will read later, and uh, I will take a photo of it. This is the monks that, that they have come here, and this is also the one we will see now. And uh, monks visiting the temple one here, and then the uh, carved bricks along the side of the temple one, and then the, uh, this is the aerial view of the temple. Uh, this is also the aerial view and uh, results of the geological survey this is the one and this is the one so let's go inside this is kudan this is kudan and let's go inside this is um, an amazing archaeological site here and uh, i'm so pleased uh, this is the octagonal temple that that um that that that's that uh, was later built by the by the hindus probably um, uh, just uh, this is probably 200 years old and this is the octagonal temple here and uh, yeah, that's the one that's the one now now let's go let's 
go back to the so and then the stupa one also known as the uh, uh, this is the one Rahula stupa this is believed to be built uh, son of Sakyamuni Buddha <laughs> that's what is written all right so um, and then this is the pond this is the pond here uh, the lotus pond probably and um, there's the pond here a round one as you can see it's it's actually round um, yeah that's that's the one the round the round one you can see the you can see it's round actually so and uh, let's uh, and uh, I'm a linguist, but um, it seems hi, um, hi, <laughs> and uh, uh, I am a bit interested, too much interested in the archaeological sites, especially the Buddhist sites here, and uh, um, <clears throat> let's see. This is the one. This is the one from the from the front side and that's the uh, that's the steel ramp steel uh, stairs that they have put um, let's go up uh, the the stupa 2 okay this is the stupa 2 and uh, this is the one What's written? I am not able to read clearly. The stupa believed to have been built to, to commemorate the incidents where the Shakyamuni Buddha and his father King Suddhodana met for the first time, and Shakyamuni Buddha gave discourse on the five sutras of the Majjhima Nikaya. Here, oh well. Well, there are small birds over there. Let's go up. This is the stupa, and uh, this is the stupa here. Yes, and very nice, very nice. And that's me, the Indian walking monk. Let's go up. Let's go up. I hope it, it doesn't fall down. It's rested heavily. 74 kgs. I am. I hope this one will hold me. Now that we can see the pond over there, the circular one, yes, the circular one up to there, it goes up to there, yeah. And we are just about the super. This is the super, and uh, it's so exquisite because, as you can see. These are carved, these are carved ones. The bricks are not uh, a, a simple one. These are carved bricks, as you can see. Um, let's try to see, yes. Yeah, there you can see the carv carved ones. There are the carved ones. Amazing, it's so amazing. And amazingly preserved. And here, very near, you can see the carved ones, carved bricks. Yes, so it's so brilliant. And as you can see inside, inside the carved bricks is a, uh, is a, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, oh my God. Okay. 
yeah that's the one so let's try to go inside let's try to go inside go up and uh, I look here someone has put this this dolls here I don't know why <laughs> I, I don't know why and uh, yeah, this is the one this is the stoop this is the um, I don't know uh, this is this kind of um, stoop and we don't know uh, who put it here. Uh, I don't. I, no, I have no idea about it. And all well, the surrounding is this one, as you can see. Amazing! This is amazing. And there, there is one more. We will go there. We will go there. And uh, this is me. I am. See, as you can see, this is my bag. And. Uh, and I don't know what for they have kept this one. All right, so so that's where we will go next. This is so amazing, so amazing. And um, and the question you can ask now: Am I satisfied with my life? <laughs> so uh, the answer here in front of this let me answer in front of this 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 uh, this stone stupa uh, uh, I'm standing on top of the stupa the answer is yes I'm very much satisfied um, in with my life <laughs> with my life my life has offered me what uh, everything that's me that's me the shadow of me and um, that's me. Let 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 us talk this way. And um, my life has given me what I wanted. And thank you for for uh, bringing me this life, bringing me to the Buddha. And my, I hope my life will will be fruitful more and more. I'm very satisfied with my life. That's the statement I can give. I feel very peaceful and uh, yeah let's go there let's go over there next it's so amazing we are we are in the kapilavastu state of kapilavastu the um, the home country of uh, the capital of the shakyans the shakyamuni buddha so let's go down let's go down this stairs and from here you can see the uh, carved bricks and that's the one let's let's go down and that's the compound wall the thick compound wall stone uh, no no the uh, fire clay brick the wall I think the bricks are not uh, uh, um, not shaped too much uh, like a, like a rectangle or square but So, this is the one, this is the outer wall, so imagine um, this is about probably one, two, three, three, three and a half meters or three, more than three meters in, in thickness, the wall, that indicates that uh, and under and, and you can you can you can see the carved the carved bricks um, yeah you can see the carved bricks which which is what I'm touching and here all the carved bricks I'm touching and this is the carved bricks amazing amazingly preserved it's so nice nice to touch the uh, carved bricks and uh, I really wonder uh, wonder if uh, uh, <laughs> as you can see 
the, the, the carved the bricks or laid even in the even at the outside as you can see as you can see yeah yes the outside so let's go over to the other side it's believed uh, and here excuse it and this how it breaks or amazing oh, so amazing and it's it's so very nicely preserved preserved and and uh, there is it's, it's circular here as you can see semicircular then something else so let's go to the side to the side let the view be this way uh, let the view be this way so let's keep mo moving and here the carved ones so amazing 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 very amazing very amazing it's so beautiful so beautiful that's so beautiful I feel very peaceful <laughs> I feel really very peaceful and uh, just let's uh, yeah so that's the one it's customary to in India to to just uh, walk um, in, <clears throat> around the stupa three times and um, that's what we will do here we will walk around three times and we will see as you can see this is the, the carvings here amazing amazing these are the carvings yes and here amazing the carved ones that's me amazing amazingly preserved there are some lichens that had grown over here it's so amazing yeah amazingly preserved super this is so fantastic and amazing and from here you can see the back side this is the back side of it and uh, in the back side we can see another another um, this one um, let's try to go up I'm not I'm not sure they are low or not and here is a well the well might have been used by the used by the by the monks here probably let's go down <coughs> let's go down and this is the stupa uh, this is the stupa from the from behind so amazing so amazing yeah so amazing and uh, here comes the another stupa I don't think uh, we can go up let's uh, let's go on the other side it's uh, it's probably it's uh, we have to keep the um, on the um, he generally keep the Buddha or the Buddhist thing on the right and and circle over in the in the in the um, circular uh, in the clockwise direction yes this is the one we wouldn't have the we had the aerial view from there it's so amazing We will do around uh, three rounds here. 
just in case we believe or not, I, I'm not, I don't know, but the, as a mark of respect for the Buddhist sites and the Buddha himself and his Dhamma, we will, we will do uh, three rounds of this. And here is, is a tree, a very old trees, uh, some very old trees. There's a compound wall that they have built around, if you can see. Yeah, there's a compound wall. That's the compound wall. Yeah. Alright, so, so here, let's see what this says. Super number three. And this is the one. This is the Supa number three. Let's go. So let's do a three round of this one. Three rounds uh, of this one. So now let's. Uh, this is the part, this is the well. This is the well where the where they might have drunk the water. So here, as you can see, these are carved bricks, amazingly preserved, amazingly preserved carved bricks, and totally amazing, totally amazing. I'm a gifted person to. To come and see this <laughs> and I'm seeing this um, through the dhanas this bricks as you can see uh, dana given by the people and uh, let them find um, Nibbana soon and uh, from the back side we cannot see the uh, let's see what is written here. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Here, the ancient well, eh? ancient well, and it reads, uh, it reads, um, believed to have been older than the stupas. This ancient well is also considered um, on a form where the Sakyans. Sangha used water during the stay in this garden. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's the one. So, that's, this is another side and there are the cowed bricks over here. They are broken, but, but these are the cowed bricks. Here, as you can see, the cowed bricks. And, there are some kind of oh kind of things there. Alright, so uh, kind of again comes the carved bricks here. Amazing, exquisite thing. And uh, let's do that uh, three rounds. It's already half an hour. Half an hour, this is from the side view. This is from the side view. The, uh, we don't know, I think we are not supposed to go uh, a climb on this. So remember the the Andhra Pradesh, the disturbers in the Andhra Pradesh, we were able to climb to some extent. Um, these two parts of the Andhra Pradesh, but but not here. And the, this is the stupa number two. <sighs> yeah, this we have seen. I think five sutras here. So now we have. We have completed one round of it and uh, let's do the second round second round this this was put by the government nepali government here I think. but 
I'm not sure. See the see the type of uh, the groovings on the on the on the bricks, fire clay bricks. So let's fastly do the second round and the third round. It is so amazing. It's so amazing. Thankful for this life, and um, it's so uh, it's so uh, uh, gifted. We are we are so gifted to to uh, to actually know the Buddha himself, uh, and um, we are in the Buddha Sasana, the the Buddha. Um, yes. So now the Buddha. Um, we uh, we are so lucky to hear the Dhamma of the Buddha. Um, <clears throat> we are rounding um, the Supa also together as a whole. Now this is the second time we are rounding and that's the stupa and the stupa number three probably. So that's so amazing and and uh, how nicely preserved from here you can see how it looks hmm? behind is the is the old the other one and here is the new one and uh, the, the edicts uh, I think the the pillar was uh, was uh, uh, people told that the the pillar that was there uh, the pillar whatever you see generally comes from Emperor Ashoka himself and uh, that's um, so Lumbini Nepal and all these places under the Himalayas the Himalayas. Uh, and uh, to Afghanistan, Kushan dynasty, uh, I, uh, Afghanistan must have come under the Emperor Ashoka. So amazing. There are nobody here um, except a security guard who is just sitting over there. Uh, it's so amazing. And um, <coughs> the third one now we start the third one start the third one the third round in fact uh, I, <laughs> I'm not uh, uh, I'm superstitious or Oh, I don't follow the rituals, ritualistic, but it's just for the um, respect for the stupa that has stood the, the times. The times, uh, even before the Emperor Ashoka, it has stood. So, so as a mark of respect, as an, uh, as an or, um, what to say, anthropologist or as uh, so you can say archaeologist or whatever the name one you ca can give <laughs> or a linguist I just um, um, I just try to um, show my respect by, by just uh, um, rounding it thrice thrice that was what uh, the the um, the humans and and the people and the gods used to do in uh, at those times during the Buddha's time after they come to visit the Buddha they first rotate around uh, three uh, three times keeping the Buddha on the right that's what we do this is my right hand this is my right hand and uh, we keep the stupa to the right and uh, let this be the uh, on 
a small lesson, a small thing to 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 for the people to um, to understand that we have to keep the keep the Buddhist path and everything to the right, to the right. In fact, the there is uh, I I'm not sure what what is it. <laughs> What is the uh, thing behind the rounding? So, so we just try to find uh, uh, not too much uh, meaning to it. I think. Uh, we are in Kapilavastu. Kapilavastu, the the capital of. Uh, Sakya, Sakya dynasty at that time, the Sakya Muni Buddha uh, was born in 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 this place, Kapilavastu, his son to in Kapilavastu, Rahula in Kapilavastu, and uh, he got married in probably in this place around this place. Um, let us see uh, if uh, we can. Uh, we can find the remains of the palace of Kapilavastu, of his father Sudodana. So let's uh, let's see it and uh, so for the last time, uh, let's try to. Um, Let's try to find out if uh, if we can if we can get an aerial view of. Uh, I don't think it was it was possible, but let's try <coughs> for an aerial view. View. Oh. So this is the this is the uh, uh, pillar of Ashoka. Probably I'm not sure about it. And this is the aerial view. As you can see from the top, this is what you see. And then the and then the circular pond there. And then. Then there, there's the aerial view. And thank you, friends. That's me, the Indian walking monk. Let's go down. And uh, I think this is where we will complete the the video thank you friends many thanks to you and uh, let's yeah, here thank you friends thank you this is Indian walking monk in Nepal Lumbini the capital of the Sakya King Sudodana and the Prince Siddhartha Gautama or the future Buddha Buddha himself and his son Rahula thank you friends thank you thank you